Over the period of a year in Honors English 9, I've learned so many things that it's hard to pinpoint one specific project or concept we discussed. However, I know for sure that the one important thing that I took from this class will help me understand the importance of literature and that it relates to everyday life. And that one thing I learned would be that culture forms from all around the world and tradition lives on through generations. In this class, we read and did certain activities that put an emphasis on cultural backgrounds and how each individual's upbringing can affect their lives now and in the future. We did the personal history project that let you define yourself in your history through any creative outlet that suits your personality. We also read many books that had a bunch of evidence for the idea that culture and tradition affects an individual's part of point of view. Although we read so many more stories and books this year in this class, I'm only going to talk about four of the what I thought was the major works of literature. They are To Kill a Mockingbird, Joe Luck Club, A Doll's House, and Things Fall Apart. To Kill a Mockingbird focuses on the aspect of slavery and segregation in the 1930s in Alabama. It had plentiful information on the history of racism and also the role of women and African Americans. The author grew up, grew up in the same environment as Scout in the book. Harper Lee's father was a lawyer also, and she grew up without a mother, and she turned out to be a tomboy, just like the character she created, Scout. Because of her own personal upbringing, her writing was influenced by her experiences. Moving on to Joy Luck Club, this book had an overflowing amount of tradition and culture. It held values of the Chinese and the things they found to be important and necessary. This book brought a completely new and foreign view of life, but helped me understand that because of a certain way the authors of any book are brought up, certain aspects of the culture they followed were pr present in the book. Joy Luck Club differs from the from To Kill a Mockingbird because of the physical things each character found important. The characters in Joy Luck Club viewed the Moon Lady, Mahjong, and having a certain skill as important, while the characters in To Kill a Mockingbird focused on how important reading is for Scout and how equal rights in court is a valuable factor. They're similar in the form of having to struggle to live, one because of the Great Depression and one because of the Japanese invasion in China. A Doll's House portrays the concepts of fem feminism and roles of women in Norway. The culture of this time period has the women dressed in long dresses and taking care of shopping and kids. This was normal for them to be below the man and uh, in authority, but this story fought against that idea. When this story was published, it proved to be very controversial and vulgar, and the people were outraged by the authority the woman had in a doll's house. On the other hand, Things Fall Apart focuses on a completely different location and culture. It is set in Nigeria and, fo and shows more of the indigenous traditions in the tribes. This book was mainly about cultural diffusion that was brought on by the Westerners. This book focused on the changing of religions. This book brought on a whole new perspective to culture because we're only accustomed to the Western religious views of the developed nation. But Things Fall Apart teaches us about the other tribal religions, languages, and values. Things, with, things Fall Apart and The Doll's House are similar because they both address stereotypical roles of both men and women. These two books differ not only because they are located on different parts of the world, because the two cultures value different things like honor and pride versus debt and shopping. All in all, the most important thing that I learned this year in Honors English 9 is that every literature has its own traditional background. Everyone in this class has a different upbringing which results in a different culture. In that tradition, culture and values will always flow through many generations to come.